bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's such nice music. Hey, everybody! Good to see you, and welcome back to the Zeppelin Cafe. Of course, I am your host, Wendell, and I hope you're all ready for some more Undertale. Yep, it's gonna be day three of Undertale today as we continue to explore the underground. Just a quick hello there to P Ninja, Mochi, Scarlet Unicorn, and Warcry Mango, all hanging out in the chat, and the three amigos! Hi, three amigos! Good to see you! We're playing some Undertale today. All right, we're not gonna waste any time. Just gonna jump right in. I've got my audio today. As you might remember, in our last stream, my audio was not working. You all could hear the game, but I could not. But this time, I can hear it. Plinky Plink, that's right, Scarlet Unicorn. We got the Plinky Plink music. It sounds lovely. We're just out here in the snow. And we're gonna continue our exploration. Last time we, uh, we petted like all of the doggos. So many doggos got petted. But uh, we're gonna see what's ahead. Oh, you know, you know, I just had a thought. Let's go back. Oh, this is Undertale. This is a, uh, a little game about this little human child who has fallen into the underground of monsters and has to figure out how to get home. We've met a lot of interesting dogs, a couple of talking skeletons, and yeah, it's been a, it's been a very strange adventure. But uh, I want to go down, because I have not gone down. Oh, oh, look at that. We have snowmen. Snowmen of our wonderful skeleton friends. Papyrus. It's a snow papyrus. And Sans. Well, at least he put his name on it. It's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it. In red marker. They both did an amazing job. I guess that's all it is. It was worth coming down here. Okay, back across the ice. This is the snowfield where we fought the armor dog last time, and now we can continue across the bridge. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh-oh. They're back! Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. Their traps have been not much so far. What in the... When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I... Am... About... To do it! It's, uh... Well... What's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! I like the dog on the rope. That's a good threat. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge... It seems... Hey there, meteorite! Batcat is flying. We're in trouble again. It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, away it goes. Phew. It needs skeletons with standards. Both of these guys are great. I'm loving these guys. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah. Heh. Heh. And he's gone. Sans, your brother's weird. 
I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I think we got it. We know that we know what to do with the blues. Welcome to Snowden. We found the town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Determination. <laughs> oh, that's our storage box. I don't think we got anything. <laughs> oh, hello, bunny rabbit lady. How can I help you? What can we buy? A glove for weapons. Well, we don't we don't punch things. We're very nice. We talk our way out of situations, so we don't need that. Bandana. Oh, we could use some defense. That's not a bad thing to buy. What else they got? Bicycle. Bicycle. Heals 11 HP. Eat it twice. Okay. Cinnamon bun. Heals 22 HP. So this is 22. Okay, we'll get this. Let's buy, um, buy the bandana. We'll get a couple more. I think that's good. Can I talk to you? Hello! Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. The bandana says it has abs. Well, then you know it's good. You know it's gonna protect us if we have a bandana with abs on our forehead. I think that's where we're gonna tie it. We're gonna tie it around our head. So we'll have we'll have abs right up there. Nice and protected. Nice and strong. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What can we do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. Oh, we can read and eat. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Oh, I like watching those wacky skeletons. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. We know we've been there. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Makes sense. Don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. Isn't that where we came from? I thought we started in the ruins. Unless you're- or maybe there's more ruins, I don't know. So, unless you're a ghost, you can burrow under the door, forget about it. Hey there, Mariko! This your favorite shop? I like it, it's a bunny shop. She's been very helpful so far. She sold us a bandana with abs on it. For a nice, strong look. Let's ask her about her life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? Freedom! Maybe she means the ruins ruins. That's a real ruins ruins right there. I don't know. It's absolutely perfect! Meteorite gets it! Yes! It is perfect. Absolutely. As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? That's deep. That's deep, bunny lady. I think we're done here. Bye now, come again. Oh, we gotta put our stuff on. That wasn't it. There we go. Manly Bandana. Use. You equipped the Manly Bandana. We now have abs. What else do we have? 
the bandage. Oh, that's right, we got the nice cream for nice people. We got two bicycles. Not those kind of bicycles. Bandage heals 10 HP. It's already been used several times. It has? I don't remember using this. I didn't know we had this. What's this? Cell. Oh, it's Toriel! It's our goat mom! That's right, we were supposed to call home, weren't we? Is that a good thing? If we call home, is that like asking for help? Or can we just check in? See how goat mom's doing. Picked it up used. Ugh. I kind of want to get rid of it. Gently used bandage. One gently used bandage. Let's go. I'm going to call Toriel. Dialing. Oh. Nobody answered. You call home. Nobody answers. Oh. It's hopefully nights and weekends. Oh my gosh. I remember that. Nights and weekends. Oh, hello! Little little bunny hiding behind the shelf. Talk to this one. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. Oh, Snowed Inn. The Snowed Inn at Snowden. That's clever. 80 G's. No, we're not we're not paying that. We'll sleep out in the snow. Can I talk to you? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Oh, that's nice. What's maximum HP? We know. We know, little one. Let's save again, since we got stuff now. What about the igloo? Oh! It's like the subway! We skipped, like, the whole town! Let's go back. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What'd she do? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Is that a rat? Bun buns are so adorable! She has a bunny! And she named it Bun Bun. Why does that disturb you? Oh, I guess... Oh, I guess she is a bunny. And she has a pet bunny. Oh. That's complicated. That's a complicated existence. It's kind of like how... How Goofy... You know, at Disney, Goofy is a dog. And Mickey has Pluto. A dog for a pet. It's best just not to think about it too much. Just roll with it. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. We met that monster! We took the decorations off its horns! It was very happy. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Oh, that's nice. I've never thought it- see, you've never thought about that! Yeah, Goofy's- Goofy's first name was Dippy Dog. D-A-W-G. So, he was- he was intended to be some kind of dog person. And... Now we've got- we also have Pluto the dog. And it just complicates things. Much like the lady and her- the bunny lady and her bunny pet. Don't know what to think of it. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, they invented Christmas! Well done, monsters! They invented Monster Christmas! Yo, you're a kid too, right? I think so. I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, that makes sense. Only little kids wear striped shirts. What? Oh, that's the end of that conversation. All right. This town doesn't have a mayor. Okay. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's
That's politics. Yep. That's politics. Is anyone else wearing stripes today? Mochi, are you wearing stripes? Because we just established only little kids wear stripes. I don't, I've never heard this rule before, but apparently that's the way they roll here in Undertale. Oh dear. Oh look! We've met a lot of these dogs before. What's wrong with this one? No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help. I want new drinks. And, and to meet new and interesting people. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? I guess. It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. That's true. That is how food works. Disgusting. Agreed. I'd love to try it sometime. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. But um <laughs> We love bones. There's armor dog. Do that again. I like that. I forget your name, but we met you. Thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Oh, that's a good idea. Everyone will know you're tough. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Dogs like going for walks. Okay, we got a bird up here. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard. Elite military group led by Undyne. Oh, we heard about Undyne. The skeletons were talking about Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. Oh, she doesn't sound nice. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow. Why would they want to be like that? I want to be like that. Look at this. Is this a bird? A fish person? This, this looks like a SpongeBob character. <laughs> looks like a fish. I put out a line for some girls. Someone told me there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that sir. No. That's a saying. Fish guy. He wants to... He wants to kiss a fish. No. You're... You're... You're weird. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. This is a weird place. Capital's getting pretty crowded. I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the eraser of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. Yeah, they won't be able to handle the ice. Okay, last guy. The guy whose head is on fire. Grilbs said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. That's it? We just came in here for some weirdness. The jukebox is broken, but I hear it. Were we not supposed to find partners in the sea? Unless you are Ariel. No. Look at this mouse, all wrapped up in the snow. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget there are modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. These are all serious problems. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? There you go. Look on the bright side. Everything's hopeless. Sorry, P Ninja, gotta toss you back. Didn't make the rules. Oh! P Ninja, dumped live on this stream. Sorry, everybody. 
Sorry you had to see that. But life can be hard sometimes. Who are you? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Okay. Oh, it looked like it's Mike Wazowski! Or maybe his little sister. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? We were very good at the Junior Jumble. We only... We only claimed to have trouble with the Junior Jumble to trick a skeleton. At least they know. It's true. They know. Making fun of me for... I, I, we, we are good at the Junior Jumble. Little Millie Wazowski. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That's all the newspaper should be. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I did, we had that too. We had that in my school. The teachers would give us word searches. Kept us busy. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh good, she parlayed it into a career. Good for her. Oh, see, Mochi agrees. Happened there too. I think this is a... This might be a teacher go-to. We can ask Mango. Mango might know. Is that just like... Teacher doesn't want to deal with anything else. Have a word search. I don't know if that works on the older kids, but it might. Yeah, it does say lib... Librarby. Librarby. Oh, someone hasn't checked their mail in a while. It's a mailbox overflowing with junk mail. Looks like our mailbox. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh, this is Papyrus' house! Look inside! No, that would be a federal offense! We're not gonna do that. Yes, see, that you realize that would probably be illegal. Don't go looking in people's mailboxes. Even in video games. It's illegal. It's locked. Let's try the shed. Also locked. Okay, so that's Papyrus's house. Celebrating Christmas? I didn't know this was so timely. We're, we're getting there. The decorations are up a little early for real life, but not by much. So this is nice. Nice little Christmassy game. It started as a Halloweeny game. We're going to the Land of Monsters. It has transitioned to a Christmas game. Oh, it's getting frozen. Am I dying? Am I going to freeze to death out here? Who is that mysterious figure? Human! If I don't look in follow-up mailboxes, how will I find clipboards and coffee mugs? I mean, I guess. Still illegal. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. What?! We left a restaurant this weekend that had a sign on the exit with the countdown of shopping days till Christmas. They're getting ready. They want you to shop. Get out there and shop! Now, I guess we're going to learn about complex feelings. Settle in, everyone. Papyrus has something to share with us. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. Oh, yes! We left the frozen spaghetti for him. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. He flipped that on me. He flipped it. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. Mm. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... 
Yeah? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. I thought he was in the guard. Uh oh, we're doing it. We're doing this, we're dealing with Papyrus now. Let's see. Check, flirt, or insult. Ah. Uh, well, I don't think we want to insult him. I guess we gotta flirt. What? The flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. I'm a skeleton with high standards. Oh, I can make spaghetti, or I have zero redeeming quality. I can make spaghetti. You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date. What? Let's date later, after I capture you. What is going on? Okay. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear on the date. Papyrus! I guess we're gonna flirt again. Oh no! Later, after I capture you. And they float by again. Thinking about what to cook. Ah. Uh, Arthur is smooth, very smooth. My flirting skills involve, hey, I know how to make spaghetti. Do it again. But to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Okay, we've gone as far as we can with that. I don't want to hit him. Dab some bone cologne behind his ear. Well, we can't leave yet. We can check. He likes to say, nyeh heh heh. Yeah, hey, hey. Dab's marinara sauce behind his ear. I got those. Do I have to... Do I have to hit him? I don't want to hit him. I'll just try the mercy. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled... Blue attack! Here we go! Don't move. Nailed it. Oh! I fell! You're blue now! That's my attack. What just happened? <laughs> Whoa! The music got intense! Do we... Do we flirt again? He's too busy fighting to flirt! Dab's MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. <laughs> Whatever you got, buddy. Blue your heart with the blue with the bouncing. Now we can jump! We're a jumpy heart. I guess we'll try the spare again. Took a lot of hits. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez, I, we got it. Okay, 
we're not we're not done yet. Let's use uh let's have some of our bicycle. Don't make me use my special attack, whatever that is. Dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Your ear is just full of all the things, Papyrus. Can almost taste my future popularity. What happened? Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Head of the Royal Guard. Oof. Trying hard to play it cool. Let's eat. The Unicycle. The Unicycle. Oh my gosh, that's those names are great. Unparalleled Spaghettor. Oh my gosh. This is not going well. A little better handle on that. Preparing a bone attack. We better eat something. Hmm. So do this one again. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Okay, that one went well. Good thing we have that bandana with abs. Yes, it is. Will this work again? It's too busy. My brother will... And he won't change very much. He whispers. Yeah. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Dang. Dang! We're running out of icicles to eat. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Stop hitting us! Why? Oof! Oh, come on! Yeah, give us a break, Papyrus. Still kind of go- oh! Oh! We used the used bandage. Guess you do what you gotta do. Did that one perfect. Smells like bones. Paris is cackling. I'm not sure if we're making progress.
There goes our ice cream. He's trying hard to play it cool. We're, we're just... Just do it! Do the special attack! I want to see it! Good. Oh. Papyrus. Oh. There it goes. I say that's my special attack hey stupid dog do you hear me stop munching on that bone hey what are you doing come back here with my special attack oh well I'll just use a really cool regular attack no I got nothing Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, there's a dog! What the? What in the... What was that? So that's it? We're going to the garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> what did the... What? What? What happened? Did I... Did I win? Was that- was that good? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. This is Kibble. Nefully yours, Papyrus. It's just dry food. It's a squeaky chew toy. And it's too small to sleep on. Oh! We'll just... Let ourselves out! Hey guys! Mr. Bear? Round two, this, so was, was that supposed to happen? Oh, I don't need those things. Need more icicles. If you die in the fight, that's what happens. Okay. Sure. Well, I got a lot more healing items. I guess I won't bother to save, because that was kind of sad. It seemed like I got all the way to the end, but then he threw, like, an entire forest of bones at me.
It's best not to question what happens in Undertale. That was the special attack! I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. Wait, the human is right in front of me! Hello! I was worried you had gotten lost. Sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Believe that was the fight. Okay, so if I had just had like one more piece of health, I would have been done. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Do this first. Oh, he's already fighting. We're just skipping that whole first part. I mean, they intend you not to be able to pass that point. Oh. Okay. Well, then I feel a little better. Yeah, about the special attack. We've seen it. so hot, but not out of it yet. Need our help? too early for that. Oh, those are rough. Okay, okay. Alright. That one went fine. Oh, so close. Oh. I'm just gonna health item my way through this. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack and then spends a minute fixing his mistake. remembered a bad joke Sans told and it's wrong. Talking about special attack again. Come on. No 
no problem. Those are terrible! Okay, special attacks coming up. Got our health back. Haha! -ha. You can't do the special attack! The little doggy has got to hold it. Here comes the really cool regular attack, but this time we have 18 health. Hopefully we can do it. Normal attack. I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Merry Christmas! Yes! Thank you for the 100 Christmas bits, Mango! Spare. Yes! New hoo hoo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard and. My friend quantity shall remain stagnant! Oh! We can be friends or call him a loser! I'm gonna be friends! I want to be friends with Papyrus. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then! I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. We said friends, Papyrus. Calm down. Already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. You did flirt with the- oh yes, but- but that was in the heat of battle! That was a- that was a tactical flirt. It's totally different. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. Papyrus, you're not making this easy. That's what they all say. That's what I'm saying. I'm sticking with it. He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say... Excuse me. Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Papyrus, you're... You just... You see the best in people, don't you? 
Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. No. We're just gonna, we're gonna be friends. Where in the... What kind of walking is that? I want to go see the inside of his Christmas house. But we're going to save first. Oh, did we get more money? No. I'm going to spend the last of my money on another bicycle. Determination save. Tap, 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 tap. Hello, new friend. So you came back to have a... No! I just wanted to see your house. You must be really serious. Oh, jeez. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh gosh, where are we going? Just running around outside. My house! Whoa. Oh, nice kitchen. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. There's a doggo! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. That was good. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. What a food museum. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. visit Sands. The door is locked and seems to have... Sands seems to have an abundance of fire in his room. I'm sure that's fine. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. No. No. Seen enough. What is this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Yep, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. Oh, we're getting frozen again. We got out. Ooh, it's atmospheric in here. Oh, hello, weirdos. Yo, you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? Who are we seeing? I want to be just like her when I grow up. But the room, I know, I know, Mochi, but... I don't, I don't entirely trust Papyrus. I think it's best we stay out of that room. It's probably full of spaghetti or something. Don't tell my parents I'm here. Hey, hey, hey. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh, I get it. It says the same line. 
No, no, it's a safe space. All right, we're gonna go back. Mochi is recommending we go in the room. We're, we might freeze to death out here, but we're going back. Ah, hello Papyrus. I see you waited while I ran out of the house in terror. I'm back now, and I have composed myself, and am ready to enter your room. Alright, we're in. Oh, this is a pretty cool room! Whoa! He's got a race car bed! That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. That's good. Oh, he's got a little action figure collection. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well. Let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. That's right! Santa! They do have Christmas here! That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. There he is! Santa's a flying! This is such a Christmassy. Merry and there he Christmas. is! Enjoy the Christmas fit. There is our own Santa. The next book is back again. Christmas. Christmas bits are happening. Santa is everywhere you want to be. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet! I'm quite popular there. You are, Papyrus. I know that to be true. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Wait. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I'm betting it's sans. There are no skeletons in my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in yes, we're gonna look in the closet. We came this far. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Wow. It's a good thing we looked at that. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. He's... he's not entirely wrong. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date! Mochi. Should we begin the date? It's, I'm nervous. Scarlet Unicorn says yes. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna begin the date. Okay. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. Actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Oh boy. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard. I'm not playing with the keyboard.
Is that it? Okay, here we go. Wowie, I feel so informed. It's a lot of things to keep track of. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Ah, I guess we've come this far. Oh, made him so happy. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Well, wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana, oh my gosh, he noticed our, our, our manly bandana. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. It's true. He's got me dead to rights. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the beginning. Ah. Sure. We blew his mind. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. Your dating power. Nyeh. Nyeh heh heh. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never beaten and been beaten at dating and never will. Righteous dating music. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? Oh my gosh! Backwards hat, cool dude shirt, great shorts. Can confirm this is dating. It is. I love the outfit. A genuine compliment. Dating power is rising. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Whoa, I lost dating power. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Ah. Uh, I, I don't know. It says... I mean, the hat is backwards. And the words say he's a cool dude. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. There you go, everybody. That's a good tip. Grab a magic marker and write cool on all your shirts. All clothing can be improved this way. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah. <gasps> I found the secret! Where does one find a shirt that just says dude? The 90s. You gotta go look there. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Well, I'm gonna open it. I want a present. Do you know what this is? I'm pretty sure I do. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But also wrong. What? This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat the spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. 
maybe even more than I do. Ah! Dating power is maxed out. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. I think we're leading him on. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Um. Boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like- Oh! <laughs> we went through all that! And we just got dumped! <sighs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to- mm. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. Toss him back in the sea with Pea Ninja. Pea Ninja, here comes Papyrus. Coming your way. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. I just want some spaghetti, man. Just give me some of that spaghetti. That's all I want. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How did we get to this point and I feel like I've been led on? How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. Oh, thank goodness. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. Oh, jeez. Thanks, Papyrus. Thank you, uh... You just... This guy. After all, you are very great. Well, thank you. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Don't want a skeleton kiss. Got no lips. Because I don't even... There you go, I don't even have lips. He admits it. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Mm, yeah. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. This guy. You, you are... You are a lot, Papyrus. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah, hey, hey. <sighs> Shortest relationship ever. <laughs> hey there, retrospective. Yes. Yes, it was. What a great date. I... Was it? I... 10 out of 10, great date. Well... Mochi, I can see why you wanted me to go back and go in the room, because that was... That was an experience. But I feel like my heart has been played with. I'm not sure how to take that. I'm just gonna walk into the snow. And have some deep snow thoughts. There we go. We're just gonna stay here. Having some snow thoughts. Okay. Papyrus.
sound of rushing water fills you with determination. At least you got his cell number. Yeah, I suppose. So we can call him up and he can tell us how no one will ever measure up to him. We'll never have a date as good as Papyrus. Guess we can listen to that. Oh. I think I, I think I gotta stop after that. That just, that just, it's just, it's just so many feelings after that, Papyrus. This game, this is unique. I gotta say that. I've never, I have never played a, uh, I have never played one like this. Yeah. Papyrus was the ultimate partner. Yeah. We'll never do as good. Never do as good as Papyrus. But anyway, we're gonna call it there. Send that out of there. And next time we play, we'll find out what Sans wants, because he's sitting right there next to our save point. But until then, I'm gonna head on out of here. And I will be back next week, same time, uh, probably with this game again. Because I want to see more. This thing's weird. I want to see more weirdness. Another date. I hope not. I, my, I, I, my heart has been toyed with enough. I don't need any. We're swearing off the dating. We're going it alone. For the rest of Undertale. But that'll be next time. So, until then, everybody. Take care of yourselves. And take care of each other. And I'll see you next time. So long.